Android devices are getting better day after day. With upgraded processors, RAM, and even the screen technology, I'm sure you must be loving uh, all that output that you get. But battery is one thing that is not able to cope up with these technologies. Now, if you ask any Android user, what's that one thing that they can improve on their device, I'm sure majority of them will tell you it's the battery life. So friends, keeping that in mind, in this video, I'm going to talk about some tips that uh, will help you to get extended battery life on your current Android device without any uh, significant upgrade in the hardware. So let's have a look at these tips. So the very first tip is to disable background data for your apps. Now when your phone is lying idle, this background data helps your apps to fetch notifications. Now you can go to the Android settings and disable all the background data at once, which will significantly improve your battery life. But then if you don't want to miss out on notifications for like Gmail or uh, Twitter, you can just disable it for some apps like Facebook, Facebook Messenger, which are known to hog your battery life. The second tip would be to disable any live wallpapers or widgets that just an eye candy on your home screen. So yes, uh, you really don't want live wallpapers because from what I've seen, they take as much as 20% of your battery life in a battery cycle and that is huge. And also widgets are something that adds to that uh, battery issues. So yes, go ahead and disable them. If you're using a device with AMOLED screens, I would suggest you to go for an all black wallpaper because it will really help you to improve the battery performance. The third tip is to decrease the screen timeout. Now I've seen people with screen timeout as long as 5 minutes, which is really not good. I mean, uh, when you're looking at notification on a mobile and you just place your phone on the desk, it stays awake for almost as 4 minutes for no use at all. So go for a screen timeout period for like for 15 seconds or if it is too low, you can go for 30 seconds, but not more than that because that's what I would prefer. Now, if you're a read and buff and uh, you don't like screen timeout to be low, like 15 minutes, 15 seconds or 30 seconds, you can install an app called Kin Screen. Now it will keep your screen awake only when you're using it. And both of them as a combo will help you to get a better battery life. The tip number four is to disable haptic feedback on uh, screen touches or while uh, typing on your keyboard. Now I know that it's a very uh, small thing uh, to turn off and it will not increase your battery life significantly. But hey, if anything can help, you should go for it. So yes, you can go to your respective keyboard settings or the sounds and vibration uh, in your Android settings and disable those haptic feedbacks. Now last but not the least, you can use a uh, built-in power manager and almost all the Android devices these days come with that feature. So you can go to settings, uh, configure uh, how you want to receive your notifications or if you want to run your phone in stamina mode and Marshmallow users can also install apps like those uh, to extend the battery life. Now there are many apps available in the Play Store and we have already done an article on our website and I'll provide you with the links in the description of this video. So you can go and have a look at some of those apps to extend battery life. So friends, those were the top five techniques using which you can extend the battery life of your Android devices. Now I know it's called cost cutting and most of you will not want to do that, but hey, it's a bargain. Either you can go for the performance or for the battery life. For now, at least unless we see some advancement in the battery technologies. So well, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day.